Hello everyone, this is Aaron Johnson with the Johnson iRacing team bringing you our week three update for season four of the 2020 iRacing year. Uh, we've been uh, iRacing now in uh, season three for, uh, or season four now for three weeks. And the tracks this week, both the Street Stocks and the Legends Cars, which are the two series that we're racing in right now, both were at USA International Speedway in Florida. USA is a three-quarter mile oval. Uh, it's no longer in existence. It was torn down a few years back, but thanks to the magic of iRacing, we can still race at USA International. So let's get started. Let's start out with uh, Jake Johnson and how his week went. Jake uh, has got his I rating up now to 1402, which is a pretty good I rating. Um, he's struggled just a little bit here recently, but I think, again, more than anything, he's not getting a lot of windshield time. Jake ran five races this week. He had one uh, win, two top fives. He didn't qualify on the pole. Um, but his big win here came at USA International Speedway in the Legends Car Series. And that's helped him work on his standing in, in that particular series. If we take a look at where Jake is in the two series we're racing in, in the Street Stock Series right now, Jake is um, 1,557th out of about 7,600 drivers. That puts him in the top 20% or so of street stock cars. So he's in the top fifth. He's doing fairly well in the street stocks. You know, he's only had five starts uh, and only one top five. So he's not running as much in the street stocks as he had in the past. But again, we've got school. School comes first. Uh, in the Legends cars, he's doing a fair amount better. He's in division four of the Legends cars. And right now he's 39th in his division out of um, about 540. So he's in the top 10% with ease inside Division 5, and if we look at his positioning overall, Jake is uh, 247th out of about 5,900 drivers, which put Jake's in, puts Jake inside the top 5% in Legends cars. Now keep in mind, he's also at a disadvantage here. Everyone uh, can count up to three weeks at this point. Jake has only raced in two weeks. He's got 14 starts, four wins, six top fives, and three poles in the Legends cars. Average start of about eighth, average finishing position about seventh, so that is sort of middle of the pack. Generally speaking, they're between 12 and 14 Legends cars in any race. Uh, overall, though, Jake's really improved his position in the Legends car series, and I think he has great potential to move inside the top 200. And I think we've set as a team to have all of our team members be inside the top 200 at the end of the Legends car series. Moving on now to my brother Joe. Uh, Joe's been I racing now uh, just about uh, not quite two months, about a month and a half. He's got his I rating up to 1617. Uh, keep in mind now that you start at 1350, so anything over 1350 is an improvement in your I rating. So Joe has moved his I rating up a fair amount here. Um, he didn't get to race a lot this week. I think work took precedence, of course. Joe ran four races. And he had a rough week. He didn't win a race. He didn't finish in the top five, and he didn't qualify on the pole. U.S. International can be a really challenging track, and I think Joe saw that. I think also as he's moved up, um, gotten his I rating to be higher and higher, um, I think the other thing that we're seeing here is that, um, you know, this can be a real scramble, um, and it's really tough when you get up into the higher levels. Those guys get to be really good, so it's hard to finish up high. And to only be six weeks in, Joe's doing really well. If we look at where he's positioned in our multiple series here in the Street Stock Series, Joe is 1120th, again, out of about just over 7,600. That puts him in the top 15% or so uh, in the Street Stock Series, where he's got 15 starts, no wins, one top five, and three poles, so he's plenty fast. Um, he did not race a Street Stock race at uh, USA International this week, tending to focus instead on the Legends cars with the limited time that he had available. If we look at the Legends car series, Joe's in Division 5. We can see that here. In his division, he is 7th now out of about f not quite 500 competitors. He's got 15 starts, 2 wins, 8 top 5s, and 2 poles. So he's doing really well in the Legends cars, even though this was kind of a difficult week. If we look at the overall rankings for Joe, he's 105th out of about 5,900 drivers that would put Joe in the top 2%, just inside the top 2% of Legends cars, uh, with a really a, a pretty good shot at moving up here into the top 100 if he can catch a break this week uh, when the Legends cars move on to South Boston Speedway. Third member of the Johnson Racing Team, that's me, Aaron Johnson. Uh, we can take a look at my page here. I've got my uh, 
my uh, I rating up to 1906. That's not the highest that it's ever been, but I did have a, a pretty good week. I ran eight races with two wins. I had four top fives and two poles. Uh, that resulted in me scoring a significant number of points. I think the biggest score here for me was uh, uh, in a race uh, a couple of days back where I finished second to Amir Saleh. Amir is a great racer, um, and I managed to score a fair number of points there. If we look at where I'm standing overall, I also had a decent week in the Street Stock Series. I uh, <clears throat> Right now, in the Street Stocks, I'm 79th out of about 7,600 drivers, so that puts me in about the top 1.3% of all drivers. I'm doing fairly well there. I've got 12 starts, one win, four top fives. Uh, the big issue for me, again, is just not getting a lot of seat time. I, I also tend to, pref to prefer to focus on the Legends cars. In the Legends cars, I am in division number nine, and in division nine, I am currently leading that division by about 23 points over Cooper Robinson. Now it's early. And a lot of things can happen between now and the end of the season. But I'm in a good position here maybe to finish at least in the top 10 in my division and hopefully uh, maybe better than that. If we look overall, I'm a 73rd out of about 5,900 drivers. Puts me in a, just outside the top, uh, top one, again, outside the top 1% there. Um, <clears throat> but I've got uh, 20 starts. I've got 12 wins, uh, 15 top fives, and 11 pulls. Uh, average start and finish both a third. So I've, I've had a really good season so far, but now that I've got my I rating up to where I'm going to be in that top split with the very best drivers every week, I expect these numbers to start to fall off. It's just really hard to be top three in every race when you're facing some of the best I racers in the Legend Series. So that if we uh, give you the quick update here, I'm, I hope that you've had a good time uh, and I hope that you enjoy following along with the exploits of the Johnson I racing team. Uh, as I've said before, our goal for the season is to put all three of our iRacing team members in the top 200 in the Legends Car Series. I think we have a good start. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do yet. And we have to hope that we're able to get a little more seat time. I think all of us this week uh, raced less than we have in any other week so far this season. So that's going to be something we need to address. Anyway, for the Johnson iRacing team, this is Aaron Johnson saying, Go fast. Turn left. Have fun.